Hello, my name is Michael Falco with ProTech Electronics, and today I'm going to demonstrate our Mini MIDI sequencer. The Mini MIDI sequencer is a MIDI sequencer player that takes MIDI information, a MIDI song, streams it to an external device. The external device can be any MIDI enabled device, and particular applications are automated musical instruments. The system consists of custom hardware, which we refer to as MMS, and a tablet. The hardware has ports for MIDI out, DC power in, SD memory card slot, a USB serial port connection for future enhancements. It also has a LED indicator that is bicolor, red and blue, indicating power on, current status, and active Bluetooth connection. The tablet is a 7-inch Fire tablet with the app pre-installed. You can purchase the system without a tablet if you have your own tablet already and load the app onto your tablet. To use the system, populate the SD memory card with MIDI files organized into directories of your own naming convention and insert the memory card. After power on and initialization, click on the MMS app on the tablet and load the app. When the app first powers on, you're asked to select a hardware device to connect to. In this case, it's this mini MIDI device. Select this. And I've established a Bluetooth wireless link now between this tablet and the MMS hardware. After establishing the link, I can now control the hardware with the tablet. During the initialization, when I first connect, all the songs in the user-defined directory, default directory, all the song names are loaded to the tablet. As well, all of the subdirectories are names are loaded to the tablet. And the tablet takes this information and puts it into an alphabetically sorted scrollable list. All of these are my songs, my MIDI songs, and at the very beginning of the list are the subdirectories. After I've connected the tablet to the MMS hardware, I can scroll through the list, select a song, by tapping on it. It appears in the selection bar, and when I tap on the selection bar, it starts playing that song. I can stop it at any time, select another song, and play it. Of course, I can let it finish to the end as well, and it'll just terminate normally. Select on the song. As easily as I can select a song, I can select one of the directories that I've created and change directory. Go to my test directory here, test. These are all MIDI songs now in my test directory. These are MIDI songs in my main directory. I think it's about 190. I also have a directory of all songs where I keep all of my songs. I think there are about 240 songs in this directory. Whatever directory I'm s I select, 
the songs in that directory appear on this tablet. Now I'm back to my test directory. And I show a test routine that I often use when I first turn on my instrument. So on the app, the controls include stop button, play random continuous, play sequential continuous, a Bluetooth connect button. To either side of the main buttons I have skeleton keys that control silence between songs, delay between songs during autoplay, and I can also use them to change the BPM, the tempo, when a song is playing. This last field here is the directory field. I'm telling what directory I'm currently in. In the home screen, which I'm in now, well, let's go back to the main directory first of all. In the home screen, which I'm in now, I can change the interval between songs, the delay between songs, by using my up-down skeleton keys. You can see that I've um, changed that interval now to uh, 10. When I put it on auto sequential play, the first thing it does is count down the seconds that I've set it to. When it gets to zero, it plays the song. At the end of the song, without additional intervention, because I'm in an auto play mode, at the end of the song, it'll pause it 10 seconds and then play the next song, and etc. Perhaps I don't want 10 seconds, perhaps I want five seconds and we'll put it on random play counts down when it gets to zero plays the song it'll continue in this mode now once I've set it into this autoplay mode it'll continue this mode until I stop it so that means that even if I turn the tablet off or put the tablet to sleep the tablet's no longer controlling the hardware I mean, I can't, I can't do anything here. But it's in an auto random play mode, and it will keep doing this without the tablet. In fact, I could turn the tablet off completely and put it away, and I'll just keep playing. When I'm ready to re-engage, I can just wake it up or turn it back on again, whatever. It must always automatically reconnect the Bluetooth, which I, which it has. Screen indicator light is indicating that uh, the Bluetooth is connected and I can control it again. So in the home screen when no music is playing, the skeleton buttons control the delay between songs, the interval between the songs of silence between songs. Now set for five seconds. When I'm playing a song, they then control the tempo of the song. So let's select a song. Uh, let's, let's select a song. And if I start tapping on the BPM button, tempo up, you can hear that it's getting faster. And we've gone from 120 BPM to eh, nearly 200 now. That's eh, 200. And I can. Oh, that's too fast though, right? So let's slow it down. Each time I tap it, it's one BPM. And I started it around 120. So that's about where I was. Of course I can go below it now and really slow it down. The tempo change is not permanent, it's uh, temporary. A temporary tempo change. If I stop and restart the same song, it starts at its original tempo.
And I can do that with any song. I can select another song. Change the tempo, increase it, decrease it, etc. Besides the visual indicators when the tablet's controlling and it's connected, the custom hardware itself has its own uh, indicators, uh, the LED. So, for example, if there is no SD memory card, um, the system, the customer hardware, hunts for the card continuously until it finds one. And you can see it beeps, it um, blinks a couple of times repeatedly until eventually I insert the memory card. In addition to being controlled by the tablet, the system has standalone capability. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the tablet from it completely. I know the tablet's no longer controlling it because I'm in the initialization screen. I've got a red light on the um, custom hardware. So the tablet's not controlling it. Um, in fact, I can just put the tablet to sleep. The tablet's just not controlling it. And um, the system has got uh, autonomous play capability, very rudimentary, but nonetheless useful. So let's say that you have a new song and that you want to test it real quick without linking the tablet, turning on the tablet and linking it. Well, there's a configuration file that the user can edit to get it to play sequential or random without any delay, as soon as you power on, essentially. So um, right now, there's no memory card, and it's uh, sitting in a loop waiting for a memory card. I've uh, edited the configuration file, and I've set it to a sequential play, zero delay. And after it boots up, let's insert this, and after it boots up, you see that it immediately begins playing. If I let this continue playing, it would just skip to the next song, the next song, the next song, and continue playing. So it's got some autonomous play capability without the tablet. Once I do hook the tablet up to it, It goes back to tablet control mode. And so that concludes the demonstration of the Vertic Electronics Mini MIDI Sequencer. And thank you for watching.